This is Australia, the biggest laboratory in the world. This year, it will allow genetically modified wheat on its soil. Australians will be eating it by 2015. Canada, the United States, Europe and Russia have rejected GM bread. It has the potential to destroy the $3.5 billion industry, said a director of Canada's Wheat Board. Concerned GM wheat could uncontrollably spread, wiping out natural varieties. Supporters of GM bread say side effects in humans are unlikely. Independent studies show GM has prevented weight gain in mice and damaged rat livers and kidneys. The CSIRO will begin the world's first human feeding trials of GM wheat without first testing for toxic or allergic effects on animals. And even when GM wheat reaches supermarket shelves, corporations will not have to reveal which genes they have inserted or where they have come from. The CSIRO studies are in partnership with biotech corporations. When CSIRO signed off on them, two of its board members were in senior management at a company called New Farm, the exclusive distributor for Monsanto's Roundup Ready products in Australia. Monsanto controls 90% of the global GM market. In Canberra, the only people with the power to enforce transparency won't lift a finger, unless there are votes to be won and lost. Tell the government you want to know what and who is in your daily bread.